Uh, before speaking about uh, the experience of Haiti for the for the border for the out outbreak, let me say thank you to all organizations that help us to to do to fight this disease in Haiti. Uh, OPS, OMS, UNICEF, et il y a aussi le docteur Piao qui nous a donné un bon coup de main aussi, ainsi de la Banque mondiale qui est pour Bank, et World Bank et, et UNICEF et autres organisations de la CDC. All right, OK. CDC, that, that help us to, to fight this disease. Then we use uh, uh, two main uh, uh, strategies for, for, for the outbreak. An alert system, a quick alert system. Okay. A quick alert, alert system by, uh, by our surveillance system. We, then in response by the how you say the, the, the battles against the transmission of the disease in the country. At central level, in the, we have monitor epidemiological surveillance of cholera, monitor and other sources of information. Then we have at, at departmental level, we have, we have the CME, uh, that the coordinator of uh, Infectious disease, infectious disease, at, the, at this level, in uh, epidemiological in the field, field outbreak investigation and health institution in the community. We confirm case. Yesterday, Doctor Doctor Daly speak was speaking about the all the other, the two definition. We have a definition of case at the beginning, or suspect, suspect case at the beginning. But now, with the evolution of the disease, we get another, another definite, definition case, who is more specific now. And the uh, factor investigator related to the institution, analysis local capacity of treatment patient, antibiotic irritation, and human resources. And we do also, there is an important thing, the coordination with the partner. We know when you have a many partner on the field, you have to coordinate that in order to, to, in order to, to add to the efficacy. For the response, for the repos, we have the EMIRA unit. EMIRA is a team, a, a mobile team, he have to to go to the to, to the house when the, we have a case, a suspected case. The this team have to go where these people live in order to make the the what you say the in order to make uh, 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 in English you call that bon, uh, a, san a cordon sanitaire. The, I think I. I suppose we, we, told, we call that in English the same, the same word, cordon sanitaire. The, the, the escape where the people live in the mountain or where, or anywhere, anywhere, you have to go to the house of these people in order to make the cordon sanitaire. In this cordon, what do they do? What they do? Uh, for this cordon, we have the Emira unit reinforced by community response and DINEPA. DINEPA is the organization that controls the water and sanitation in Haiti. The DINEPA have a TEPAC, this is a technician for, for water and, and, and assessment in Haiti. These people is a personnel of DINEPA. It's to target in response for, to all cases and suspicious death of cholera with, within 24 or 48 hours of an alert. We have a quick response and quick, quick and complete response. 
80 percent uh, to 90 percent cases responded to in the time frame. One 11.2 household per per cordon. And then you have to do many house around the, the around the, the the domicile, the habitat. I don't know the of the people of uh, of, of the suspected case. Sensibilization. <laughs> Health promotion, awareness, and EPA, and food hygiene. You have to you have to speak with the people. Active chlorination point. Sometimes we we do the chlorine, we, we we give some passy to the people in order to chlorine their water. Sometimes at the point at the source where we, we have the water, we we have somebody, somebody who put the chlorine in each. When the people come, they, they put for them at any point. We, we call that a, a chlorination point. A chlorination point, and how it is affected? Chemoprophylaxy with DOS, we do it. Active case research in the community. Building and repairing water supply infrastructure through DINIPA. Household water treatment and safe storage program with UNICEF and other partners, reactive vaccination, the low CV. We don't, we don't now, now, we do vaccination for many parts in the country, but not reactive vaccination. But now, we are going to implement this when we have a case, a case confirmed case, we are going to do vaccination in all the, this area. That many things, that's what we do when we have an outbreak in Haiti. Now, thank you.